Okay, I have to put a new set of batteries again in my backup APCXX1000. Looks like they last about three and a half years. And when it was bought new, I think it said a three-year warranty. So uh, the batteries basically got screwed up again. There they are all coming apart. They only have about two volts across it, which means there's only one cell active. We had a power outage a couple of weeks ago, and then everything was dead on this computer, and so it just didn't hold up. Now, last summer, the alarm on this thing was kind of making a goofy noise, but it looked like it was okay, so I think one of the cells had some trouble. But I probably should do is go through after about two and a half to three years, and just as a preemptive thing, go ahead and replace it because it kind of powers off, and then it just didn't work. So here's fall 2002, 2012, new unit, April, got 9 ampere hour batteries. Here's it today. We put two new batteries in. Had seven to begin with. And what I did in the past is I went through and just used some 3M tape, taped them together. These tabs are just something they have to pull it back out. And down in there is the connector which is actually for 24 volts because these are two 12 volt units put in series. These batteries are really common. They're what's used in uh, electric bikes, kids bikes and stuff, using UPS's, using alarms. I usually just go ahead and get a couple of them off the internet. Sometimes you, you used to be able to get these at the old Radio Shack. Sometimes Home Depot has them. Uh, the question is how new are they? But they either come in seven or nine usually. This little gizmo here in the middle, of course, has got the connector, and it's just got a couple wires that snap up, and you can use, use clear tape. Some, I prefer this stuff because it's kind of beefy to hold this together, and it just slides down in there. And I guess, I don't know if these things run a high voltage so they tend to boil out, or that's just what the life is. I mean, I've never, to do this, they've got to have some... Uh, probably excess voltage or something on them and they tend to probably bust apart. Like there's one over here on a backup generator and it's probably three or four years old and I was charging it up and it doesn't have any split case. Normally if they fail they don't have anything like that. But you go over here and this is one that is uh, just probably gets cooked after a while. And I've got about a couple of different backup units like this and that seems like the norm here power tends to go off around hurricane season but it look, looks like the bottom line is about three and a half years and that's to a total failure so probably I should go is replace the batteries after probably three years max and there's the Kroger bag and here's some stuff about NT embedded systems looking for dirty bits just having some fun here but this kind of caught me by surprise because it, it had some warnings on here and had a weird chirp in the summer. And then I unplugged the system to test it and it ran. So I have a feeling when the power was out earlier in the summer, just for a little while, one of these cells went below, wouldn't pull up above 12 volts and then probably it, the cell formed back and it was okay. But it was just, uh, it's kind of like jump starting a car and you think you got some false sense of security uh, that this kind of hold up. But three year, three and a half years is what I've gotten on this. Of course, this is a 24 volt unit. I got a little guy in the past that's a 12 volt one, and I had that hooked up to a big, huge trolling motor. And if you can believe it, it's a UPS that's about half this size. Uh, it's about the size as a scanner over here. But it actually boiled the heck out of a big battery that's about a 27 form factor it boiled it completely out so you can hook one of these things I had a fuse hooked up uh, in a 12 volt unit and connected up to a deep discharge battery and if you do that it would have many hours of backup but it would tend to boil a cell out so you need to have one you can go ahead and check the water once a month make sure you don't boil out a cell okay here's the key on the two batteries if you try to put it in this way, it's not going to go. It goes in like this onto here. If you put it in the wrong way with this, 
going in first. It'll fit, but it's not going to hook up because there's not hooking up on anything. So there's the connector. goes down into there. And I believe it goes in like that. These are just little tabs. And there you go. Put a date on there just for good measure. Here's the cover. The tape is down a little bit because it tends to foul. It kind of just goes on here like this. He just plugged it in. Got a machine in the back spooling up. It has nothing to do with this, but let's see what it's got here. Don't have any loads on it right now. Should plug the light bulb in and see what happens. Okay, got the UPS plugged in. Got this light bulb plugged into a socket. Let's see what it says here. Whoa! 101 watts. It's a 100 watt bulb. See the one up to one bar there. The load. Now we go over here, I'm going to unplug it, the EPS from the socket. There's the alarm, it says I got 53 minutes left. Let's go through and... Buttons on this are kind of... I don't get used that much. I've got to read the manual. Should give the number of watts. That's the on off. On battery, see the battery flashing? I should read, there you go. 116 volts out. The button's probably got crap on it. I should give the number of watts. I don't know why. About 90 watts. Because this is a resistive load. And it's pro it's not 120 something volts. It's a little bit lower. Plus this is just kind of a... I don't know why it doesn't just... Uh, two events because I've done this twice. Here it is, 116 volts. Zero volts in. Now I'll turn this off. Now this is just to turn off the so it doesn't squawk. Fifteen percent of the load. Which would mean fourteen hundred watts. Right now. See, now it toggles real well. Let's put this LED bulb in. Those are only about, that's probably only 8 or 9 watts load. But it's not purely resistive, so who knows what's going to say. It's just 4 watts, which really isn't enough. This this is, should be this is eight watts, 115 milliamps, made in China. I think that's a 60 watt equivalent. Let's go see what it says for the time. 512, 23, 700 minutes. It's so low, it's just giving a kind of a goofy thing. Computers usually, the one I've got over there is probably like 40, 50 watts. This sits on. You can replace a power supply for one that had no load. A lot of them draw a lot at no load. Depends on the processor. The supply sometimes is not very efficient at low loads. 
51 minutes. Where did 15 at? 86 watts. Now, you see the brightness on there. If I go through and attempt to plug this in here. Now it says it's online. And this is shown the battery here, it's gone through and been down a little bit. So this will go up to all bars once it's charged up. Those batteries were in there for a while. I mean I just put them, replace them, but I had it on for about a half hour when I was doing some other stuff. There you go, new batteries. These old ones are kind of goobered up. 